Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Office Blog Daz. I'm Gaina. Okay, if, uh, if Patreon's your thing, we've got a Patreon channel where uh, if you like watch-alongs, we do a little bit of uh, watch-alongs every week. We do. So uh, Seinfeld, Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Modern Family. Modern Family is the key when you get a couple of them every week. We do, two of those. And, yeah, and uh, we've also got a few things like Planet Earth. Different things, comedy, full watch-alongs with comedy yeah. going on there. Yeah. So uh, if it's uh, if watch-alongs are for you, yeah. head over there and have a look. Uh, and starts if you at want to buy us a beer as well. You can buy us a beer as well over yeah. there, even better. Yeah. Um, we've been talking about when we do the competitive eating, we always say, like, how do they do it? Yeah. So I found this video, the science behind competitive eating, sports science. Interesting. So it will be interesting to see how they do Because I've always wondered, when you're watching it, the amount of food that they put in the mouth at the same time, mm. how does it go down? Like, I have, problem, I have a problem with my esophagus and everything gets stuck. Yeah. So you must, it must be st st stretched. Well, they don't chew really a lot, neither. They're swallowing no, like yeah. full full bits. Yeah, with loads so of liquid. Liquids are going down to the tip. No, I've seen them doing the hot dogs and I think they're swallowing like almost full hot dogs. Yeah. Don't know, which Chewing is like, don't know, it can't be good for the insides. No. So I'm guessing this is what's going to explain what happens when it goes inside. Yeah. So let's, uh, let's get into it. The science behind competitive eating, sports science. During last year's Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest, seven consecutive time champion Joey Chestnut set a world record. Just to start on that, Joey Chestnut is number one in the world. We were, we, were con we were talking about the other day on yeah. the beard, uh, beard, uh, beard Meets Food. Yeah. Who was number one? It's Joey Chestnut. And yeah. he's, uh, I've seen... I've seen some of the comments of what he does, and I've looked at some of his videos and lined some up for us to watch. Right. It is ridiculous. Really? Yeah, it is amazing what he eats. The one thing that I do love about the competitive eating is that they're quite not messy. Yeah. Whereas I think what we've seen, this is this is quite messy for what you yeah. see there. But yeah, Joey like. Chestnut is number one in the world. Right. Eating 69 hot dogs in 10 oh. minutes. I'm not stony then, 49. To put in perspective what 69 hot dogs looks like inside a human body, we brought in a one-of-a-kind anthropomorphic dummy complete with a hot dog stuff. That's its official science term. Here we go. Oh. 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 Oddly, though, that is what it sounds like when Joey eats. Normally, a human can stomach, on average, about one liter of food before the nausea reflex kicks in, signaling us to stop eating. But competitive eaters train their bodies oh, to ignore this reflex. As a result, their stomachs are capable of holding down four plus liters of food, a capacity more than four times greater than the average stomach. When you eat so many hot dogs, your stomach expands and actually does push all of your organs out of the way. This wow. right here, that's 50 hot dogs. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, oh. Oh, look at Two that. Two more hot dogs to the record. Oh. Come on. Woo! 69! This is 69 hot dog buns. 69 hot dogs and over two quarts of water. This is what it looks like inside the human yes. body. Wow. Zero to nine months pregnant in 10 minutes. Now ingesting 69 hot dogs is equivalent to consuming over 20,000 calories. But I'm wondering like how, if it, does, it, does it have like a digestive system in process as well? Or does it just sit there when it, you stuff it in? I think it just sits there because when we watched it, if you notice that the stomach like yeah. comes right out and it's rock hard. Yeah, but I don't think it comes out like that. Like he's showing there, like that big. I've never seen him be that big. But yeah. then again, I've never watched him eat sixty nine hot dogs. No, but when we watched it, if you remember, he, yeah, he stood up and he had a big stomach, but it wasn't like it wasn't like out like that. Well, I guess the the stomach muscles kind of hold yeah. it in if you yeah. if you train on a regular basis. It's that like doesn't look healthy, who, though, does it? No, but it's like people who train really heavily and then they get pregnant yeah they normally have quite hard a hard time because mm. the muscles are so, so tight, tight they... mm. that's ridiculous aren't they isn't it yeah hey. theoretically by slowly rationing out that many calories a person could survive for about four months i mean it wouldn't exactly be a picnic but it's possible for espn sports science i'm john brinkus 
well, I guess that was a little short video of how it works, but yeah. that's just, uh, it's opened my eyes to like that size of that stomach, how yeah, it goes down when he's pushing yeah, it down. it's crazy. Because you're going through such a short, like, uh, uh, tube, if yeah, you want, yeah. um, into a bigger, sort of like, area to store yeah. that's just going to get packed out very, very quickly, very, uh, yeah. and, and on, also, on a, on it's only the skinny ones that are better at it. Yeah. But they train their, I guess the, the stomach muscle just expands. Yeah. Or the stomach, uh, or the area where it's stored. But that's what happens when you when you gain weight. Your stomach becomes bigger. So mm. how do they, at such a small size, have such a, a large stomach? Because a fat that's... person would have a large stomach because obviously they, they're overeating yeah. and the stomach expands to... But it moves all the organs out of the way as well. It just can't be healthy, can it? No. Yeah. And they can only do it, I think, once a week, is it? Or once every two weeks? They don't, don't do it like that. every day. I don't think you could do it every day. I know a beard died. said like, you know, he was doing it and then it was like four days, two days before he yeah. had the next one. It's just the more I'm looking into this, the more I'm like thinking, wow, I don't know, it's crazy, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's not healthy at all. No, it's like I said, it, I didn't know it was a thing. I've, so I've yeah. seen the Nathan's hot dog thing, but the burgers things and all the different types yeah, of food, I didn't even know it was a thing. Breakfast. Until I've seen it, but that's now it's just uh, it's crazy stuff yeah. what they do. Yeah. But we will get into uh, um, some videos with him in it. Yeah. Uh, if he's eating like that, we'll probably be gagging. <laughs> oh, it makes me gag just watching that's that. What I mean. As soon as he starts stuffing the mouth full and swallowing fast, it yeah. just makes me gag. It starts dripping out. My gag reflex is yeah, bad anyway. So that's, that just makes it sort of thing. But uh, anyway, there you go. There you have it. That's the science behind yeah. competitive eating. If there was much science behind it. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Cheers. Bye.